You might have an army. We have a Hulk. Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of Kraken Miniature Painting. Before we get started, if you could hit the subscribe button, the like bell, and hop on over to the Facebook page, that would be fantastic. It's a glorious Sunday morning, and today I'm going to show you how to paint the Hulk for Marvel Crisis Protocol by Atomic Mass Games. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to pretty much paint this model from start to finish with a little bit of time lapse in there. Uh, we undercoated Hulk with Chaos Black by Games Workshop. And then we're coming in, just hitting the green areas with your airbrush, with Incubi Darkness. Obviously you can do this with a brush, but I've chosen to do it with the airbrush. So we're just going to hit all the green areas. And this should be what you're left with once you're done. Now we're going to come in with War Boss Green. And we're going to do exactly the same again, but we're just going to spray them at a slight angle. Just leaving the Incubi Darkness in the recesses. So just going to hit all the upper areas. And you basically don't really want much of that Incubi Darkness showing. It's purely just in the recesses, creating the shadow on the muscle. I'm just going to hit all over. Don't worry about hitting the shorts or the base or anything at the minute. We're going to come in later on and obviously patch all that stuff up. Right now we're just focusing on the green. You may need to do several passes with this, so let it dry, come back in with another round. You can speed up the drying process as well just by spraying pure air onto it with the airbrush, or use a hairdryer. You'll find because the model's quite big, by the time you're kind of coming back round for your second pass, most of it's dry already. So once we're done, you're going to Use your wall boss green and you're going to add in scorpion green by Vallejo. And this is a very fluorescent colour so just add a little bit into the mix. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come in and again do exactly the same thing. But you're just going to hit the very upper regions of the model. So anywhere where the light would be most prominent. So across the shoulders, the top of the chest there, the face. calf muscles at the back there, anywhere where that light is more than likely going to hit. And again I say, don't worry about the shorts or the base, it, certainly if you're using the airbrush, we're going to come back in with all of that later. So this is just finishing it up now. Done a couple passes again, just to make sure that green's nice and bright, nice and prominent. And that should be what you're left with. And you can see the gradient underneath, like tipping that model up. You can see where the Incubi Darkness is, where it rolls up into that Scorpion Green. Just in a little bit on the back of the feet there again. And the heels. And there he is. So we're actually going to come in and do some brush work next. This is Scorpion Green again. Warboss Green mix. Now, the, the scorpion green was more prominent here, so this, where in the airbrush we put the war boss green in first and then a blob of the scorpion green, we're doing it the other way around. So the scorpion green is the main colour and you're just adding a small amount of war boss green. And what you're going to do is you're just going to come in and you're going to almost box in where you've just airbrushed. So you're going to hit the very tops of the muscles. If you want to see this on a smaller scale or with brushwork, head on over to my uh, Heart Eater video where we paint the skin on him from the Untamed Beasts. And that's using your more traditional skin tones, obviously, but it's on a more it's on a smaller scale, and we kind of go through the brushwork more. We don't use an airbrush on him at all. So 
So you can see we're just literally hitting the tops of the abs there. Just mainly highlighting everything. And this is given definition now. We're adding definition to that muscle. I sometimes find when you airbrush something completely, it can look a little chalky. So you want to kind of add in these highlights just to kind of reinforce where the transition begins. And always with painting muscle, and again I explain this in my Untamed Beast video, you want to go with the muscle fibers as much as you can. So kind of go in the direction with which they kind of move and flow. And it gives you more, more of a natural look. So who's been playing Crisis Protocol? I've been playing with my seven year old, it's great. Such a good game. Let me know your favourite team combinations in the uh, comments, that'd be great. Might be able to try them out then. So it's literally just all the top areas of the models. Or of the muscles even, sorry. So we've skipped ahead here a little bit. Um, we've gone, partly because I forgot to press record. Uh, so we've gone ahead, we've done an extra layer, but we've added more of the scorpion green into the mix to highlight the muscles further. Then what we've done is we've come back in with the Incubi Darkness on the shorts, painted the hair, abdomen black, and the teeth, shabti bone. Now what I'm doing here is airbrushing the shorts with Alien Purple by Army Painter. I wanted to do like a comic book look with him and give him the purple shorts. For me that's kind of like iconic with Hulk. You can see whilst we're doing this as I turn the model like the benefit of kind of coming in with that scorpion green almost uh, pure. Why not focus here a little bit. Apologies. So yeah I mean once it comes back into focus you'll see that green and you'll see more like defined lines. See, we're just blocking in that alien purple. Now, just be really careful here. I mean, obviously, you can do it with a brush. I, ch I chose the airbrush just for the smoother transitions, but you can do it with a brush if you're worried about hitting all the work you've done with the green. And again, a note with the green. Just, just keep adding scorpion purple into it um, scorpion group scorpion purple scorpion green into it and just get it as bright as you want I mean if you want to go further with that you can add a yellow into it so add something like um, flash gets yellow by Citadel into the mix and that will really pull up the the green tones in there I mean I didn't I was happy where it was but again if you wanted your your greens to be lighter or you wanted to take the, the highlight further then yeah add, add yellow to the mix and it'll just brighten it up. So there's the purple, that's how it should be looking. Now we're gonna add Gene Stealer purple into the mix now again. We've gone ahead and highlighted it here. So we've just done those top areas of the shorts, like where the calves, um, not calves, the quads are. So the top of the legs where the light would be hitting it the most. And now what we're doing is coming back in with Gene Stealer purple and reinforcing those lines. Once again, like we already have done with the muscles, we're just painting those lines in with that previous airbrush colour just to reinforce them and then we'll brighten those lines up again in a minute and add more of a highlight. The base has also been done, we've painted it with Eschen Grey. And we'll be coming in with the airbrush again later on just to brighten all that up, but for now. I kind of added all the extra colours on because there was a lot of drying time with this. So I just want to just kind of get to the main parts and show you guys. So obviously if you need to pause it in any points just to catch up. And you'll find this is a relatively quick model to paint. Like The, the slowest thing about it was it's drying time, but because the areas are so large you can kind of work on one area, nip off and do one of the smaller ones and then come back. by the time you've done that your other area is dry. 
So you find that like here we're really working on the creases in the shorts. Now the mixes are fairly watered down, you know, you don't want to be taken straight from the pot. We've watered them down on the palette, so you'll need to come back in several hits of it. And you'll find as well with Jean Steel Purple, when you paint it on, it looks quite stark. So the lines look really, really prominent, but once it dries, it kind of dulls itself back down. Providing you've watered it down enough. And this is where you need, like you can see here, just over his bum there. We're hitting the lines again. And right now, while they're wet, they look really prominent, but as they dry, they kind of dull themselves. So don't be too worried about it. I mean, obviously, hopefully you'll be able to gauge it once you've got it on the model. Now, we're coming in with Empress Children now. Now, we're adding that into the Gene Steeler purple mix. And again, this is going to give us our highlight. So we're just going to go back over everything we've just done, reinforcing those highlights, brightening them up. So you can see we're just literally hitting all those creases again. And again, this will look fairly stark when it goes on. If you've watered it down enough, it will dry. Not as, as not as bright. So again, kind of giving you that smooth transition between the layers. But once you've done the shorts, that's the bulk of the model done. Okay, what are we painting next? Hair. So hair's already been done in Abaddon Black. Now we're going to come back in with our uh, favourite Inky by Darkness here. And just highlight the hair. Now black, I, I try not to highlight with grey where possible as it's kind of like first thing. It depends what I'm painting. Um, when it's something more natural like hair, um, I tend to use a green or a blue, I mean Stegodon, Stegodon Green, is it called? Would be really good here. Um, but I, I like using Inky by Darkness. Now what I do in a minute is add a little bit of grey to this mix. Now it keeps its green tone obviously, so deck tan is uh, what we're using by Vallejo here. Now we're going to add that into the Inky by Darkness. You don't want to add a lot because it's quite a strong colour. And it's just going to give us a, a grey green tone. No, I also wanted to add keep the green in just because of having the green skin and everything they used. I'm not sure if it's at this point I'd already put the thracker green into the teeth so we've already done the teeth with a shabti bone and then I put a really thin wash of thracker green in just to stain in between the teeth green so yeah we've kind of kept those green tones all the way through it on the on the more like kind of natural body parts, so like the hair, teeth, skin, fingernails. And it's kind of keeping the theme, tying it all together. Now when you're painting hair, again, you want to, where possible, paint with the flow with which the hair goes. And it just keeps it looking more natural. Ah, here's the thracker green bit. So yeah, it's just a thin, thin, thin wash of it, just in between the teeth there. Okay, oh, so right, we've moved on to the base. So, Eshin Grey was already done on the base, now we're hitting it with Deck Tan. I'd gone ahead and already done a little bit. 
and we knocked the camera and it went flying. So yeah, again, just be really careful with not to hit the feet. Now you could dry brush this if you wanted. If you do end up dry brushing it, use a fairly big dry brush, avoid the feet, and that should be what you're left with there. Um, but again, I've obviously used the airbrush. Now we're going to come in with Mornfang Brown, and all those cracks, we're going to airbrush Mornfang Brown. Now I wanted to do this just to give like that kind of dusty dirt look. You know, they're in this battlefield in New York or whatever. I, I kind of discovered this, I, I did a commission for someone for the Marvel figures and did this and I, I was really pleased with the result, it came out really well. So again, just be really careful not to hit the feet and everything when you're doing this. Now we're going to come back in with deck tan, once you've done that. And we're just going to go around all the kind of edging of the pavement there. Now actually I I hit the brown as well, like the edges of the brown, and it come up alright, I was quite happy with it. So we're going to use a fairly decent brush, I didn't. I used a really shitty brush, but it's okay. You're just using the very, very edge of the brush there. Just to hit the absolute edges, and it gives you more control as well, and it gives you a smoother line. You take your time with this. I had to come in with another hit there. So again, we're just going to hit those cracks in the pavement. Where have they gone away to? Yeah, nothing's saying. Do you like that everything? Yeah. <laughs> that should be what you left with. Black metal, gonna hit the manhole cover. Just real quick, splash it on. I wasn't sure if that rim around it was meant to be concrete or, or metal, so I just left it concrete. But please, if I'm wrong, let me know, because then I know for future reference. And then red by Vallejo. You're gonna hit the, the can on the on the base there. You can paint this any I, I kind of imagined it as a coat can. But uh yeah, you can paint it any colour. Green for sprite. Although there's a lot of green on the model at the minute. Orange for Fanta, whatever, whatever you want to do it as. Um I don't highlight it in the video, but I use Vermilion to highlight it up as well, which is another red colour by Vallejo. And I also painted the ends of the um can in silver. Ignore that blue paint, I'm not really sure why I put that there. But we're using Thracker Green at the minute just to dot in the fingernails and the toenails. I also didn't do it on the video, but the uh, manhole cover I washed over with Agarax Earthshade just to give it a little bit of weathering. Now we're using Abshabti Bone to come in with the, for the teeth. Unfortunately I'm off camera here for some reason, so apologies sir, but I'm literally just hitting the tops of the teeth. I think it's because I was just hitting something fairly neat in detail. Now, here's the here's the eyes. So, hopefully, I caught this on camera. Caliban green. We're going in the eyes of Caliban green. Now, this is going to act as our shading. We're then going to come in on top of that with titanium white. But Windsor Newton, you can just see down the bottom here. This is it's slightly off frame because I'm holding it so close to myself so I can bloody see the thing. So you just want to leave a thin slither of uh, Caliban Green where you painted the white. I'm sorry, I've not really shown this very well. You're going to.
dot this in with you can kind of just see him there now you're going to dot his people in with a, a bad and black there we go i am going to do a, a video in the future on how to paint faces which will include stuff like eyes so if you're unsure here i mean please hit me with a question that would be great and i'll try and answer it but there he is so I hope you guys have found that helpful. Um, check out my Instagram link or Facebook link where you'll see a picture of the finished model. But otherwise, again, please hit that subscribe button. Um, hop on over to my social media accounts and hit like there. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.